Hi, thank you for joining me. Um, this class is for the mothers to be. It is safe to practice if you are in any trimester, but I do need you to get an all go for your from your doctor uh, for you to start exercising. And for those of you who are in the first trimester, so from zero to twelve weeks. Right, so you need to just be very careful and um, see how you feel on that day, okay? So if you don't feel great, if you're feeling dizzy or too nauseous, please, you know, you know just have a rest, you know, only practice or start exercising when you feel good, okay? So uh, listen to your body, don't push it. Um, Practice safely um, and just see how you go, okay? So I have here two pillows. You may or may not need it or need them, but I'm just putting there just in case um, you need to um, sort of uh, support yourself in any of the exercises. I'll let you know as we do the class. Okay, so... First of all, what we need to do is um, sit in a diamond shaped leg. Now, maybe this is not comfortable for you ladies who are um, in your third trimester. Maybe, maybe it's a bit uncomfortable for your bottom. So again, you can sit on a pillow like so, slightly elevated, and that's absolutely fine. So. Find something that is suiting you, uh, that suits your body best. All right, I'm gonna put this away. All right, I'm gonna go back to my position here. All right, on to my diamond shape position. If again, if it's uncomfortable, you're welcome to cross lift. Right now, first of all, I'm gonna go through the um, pelvic floor muscle. Okay, maybe you know what the pelvic floor muscle, maybe you don't know. So just a very quick introduction to it. So the pelvic floor muscles is that the muscles in the pelvis bowl. So around here, okay? Now you have three openings as female. You have the urethra, the front passage, we call it. You have the vagina, which is the middle passage, which the baby's gonna come out through. Maybe, maybe not. And then you have the anus, the back passage. So the all three passages, if you just locate it in your mind, where they are underneath in your pelvis, right, you're going to draw all the three passages towards the middle together. And then you're going to draw that three passages like an elevator drawing up towards the belly button, okay? That's a pelvic floor. And then drawing down. And it draws up. And then draws down. Okay? Just, maybe you don't get it today, that's okay. Just keep imagining of that elevator drawing up from the pelvic floor, from the base of the pelvis, and then drawing down. When you draw down, I don't want you to push down. I just want you to release it down to the ground floor where the pelvis needs to flow, okay? So, keep that imagery in your head, drawing up the elevator. Maybe I'm going to do a little small workshop on to elaborate more on the pelvic floor, okay? If you like material, please send me a message, DM me at Alaya Pilates Instagram or in a YouTube, put the um, feedback underneath column, so, and I'll, I can set up a, a video, especially for the pelvic floor. All right, let's get going again to where we were before. So sitting up nice and tall. I want you to inhale. You can place your ribs here. Lateral breathing. Exhale, draw that pelvic floor up. It's like lifting the baby up towards your ribs. And inhale. And exhale. Drawing it up. And an inhale. If you are, if your belly is 
on the bigger side you can also hold that baby with the hands and then as you exhale lift that baby up towards your heart and again inhale the idea here is to activate that abdominal muscles to hold the weight of your abdomen your belly as you get bigger okay and let's do two more times in breath and exhale lifting up last one inhale and exhale lifting good job take your arms out to the side and let's go into a little stretch here as you go over inhaling and then come back and then inhaling and then come back and inhale side stretch and come back and in breath. And just the last one. And some rotation. We're going to twist over to one side. Place the other hand behind you on the floor. And get yourself into a deeper stretch. And change. And we go ahead. And back to center. And again, and back to center. One more each side. Last one. And back. Okay, now let's take your arms up to the side. But I want that shoulder to stay nice and easy down. Don't push it down, just let it rest, okay? Let the arm feel a little heavy here. Palms facing up to start. And then we're going to internal rotate your palms facing back, your thumbs facing down. And then over the other way. And again, exhale. Internal rotation of shoulder and external. And again. And then rotate. And just keep breathing in here. And rotate one more time. And stay in the external rotation. So palms facing up, palms facing back. We slice your arms forward. Little pinky to little pinky. And open it out. And forward, hands to hand. And exhale. And an in-breath. And exhale. And an in-breath. Feel your back to start activating. Feel the heat radiating into the mid-back, into those arms. One more time. And then let's stay here on the side. Now we're just going to pulse it to the back. So we go back. Slice. Let's go six, five, two, one. Intro rotate the arms. I know they get a bit tired, huh? And then we're going to go forward, slice it. Palms, back of the palms to each other. And then press back. And then back of the palm facing each other. And then press back. And again, in breath. And then press back. And in breath. Yeah, they're starting to burn those arms, yeah? And then two more. And the last one. Keep the arms on the side and a little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rotate externally and drop it down. Shake it out. Yep, simple move can be quite painful. All right, get yourself onto quadruped position, all four. Okay, right. Shoulders are wide, hands underneath the shoulders, knees and your hips aligned. I'm going to just pull up this top so you can see what's going on in the abdominal here. Right. Now, this is a transverse abdominus connection, okay? So, take an inhale, again, breathing to the side of the ribs. And then as you exhale, I want you to lift. Lift that baby up. Draw in as much as you can, okay? Keeping the spine long. And in breath. And then exhale. 
and an inhale and an exhale. Let's do two more in breath. Hug that baby into his spine. That's what I like to say to my uh, clients at the studio. And last one. And exhale. Hug it tight. All right. And the next one, we're going to take it into flexion. So exhale, drawing that baby into the spine. And then push that floor away. Get yourself into a round back. Looking down between those knees. And an inhale into a flat back again exhale push the floor away and an inhale into a flat back and exhale and in breath two more exhale start moving the spine find that you know sometimes it feels a little nice to stretch that back and last one exhale and then back into a flat back. Now, the next one is kind of like wake the tail, kind of like a dog tail. So, you're going to turn your bum towards the right, or tilt your bum to the right, and then look towards your bottom. And then back to center. And again, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And an in breath. And exhale. And an in breath. And exhale. And again, two more each side. Last one. Sorry, one more set. And the last one. Come back to center. Push that floor away around your back, and you may have to open your knees a little wider to accommodate your belly. And then I want you to sit back on your bottom or on your heels. Put a little stretch here, okay? And just stay here, inhaling. And then exhaling. And the next inhale, bring yourself up into that quadruped position again. Okay, so remember, you're going to draw in that abdominal a little bit more so you, your back doesn't set down like so, okay? So hug the baby in. That's what I like to say to my um, ladies at the studio. All right, so... Hug the babies in. I want you to take your right arm forward into a fist. All right. And now as you breathe out, bring it up. Stabilize your whole center, your whole body as you take the arms up. Exhale. And then down. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. Last one. And then and back to the floor. Place your hands down on the left arm, onto a fist. Exhale, hug the baby in, and down, and again, and down, and, and down. Three more, and down. Make sure you don't sink that back. Lift it up, and the last one, and place it down. Now to the side, right arm to the side, onto a fist, and an exhale, and in the floor. Exhale, lift, stabilize that center. Hug the baby into your spine. Two more. Last one. Bring it in. Place your hand down over to the other arm. Okay, again, draw the center in. Don't let it set. And then we'll lift. And then down. And I will lift. And then down. And I will lift. And then down. And then three. And two. And last. And then place your hand down. Sit on your heel for a sec. And just kind of bring your arm forward. And we're just going to rotate it. All right? Give that wrist a little break. And then rotate the other way. Turn. 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 Okay, and then go ahead, come back into all four position again. Okay, or my costume is not too messy, but anyways, so we're gonna draw that center in again. Now this time you're gonna extend that right leg. Okay, so hold the guts, hold the baby in, 
slide the right leg away without shifting your weight so stretch it out and then slide it in and stretch it out maintain an absolute stability in the trunk and then again don't forget to draw that belly in one more time stretch it out hold we lift the leg up we lower we lift it up again guys don't let it back sway like so okay push the floor away let the hamstring work one more time we hold here we lift the leg up two three four five six hold bring it down draw it in at the leg drawing that abdominal in slide the left leg out bring it in maintain an absolute stability in the pelvis and your trunk and return and exhale one more time and exhale stretch it up hold we lift it up again drawing that baby in hug it into your back okay and again and two more and last one and hold now little pulses to the top one two three four five last one six hold bring it in and then return ground the spring sit back onto your heels again you may open the knees a little bit wider and stretch your back away stay here one set of breath inhale and exhale one more in breath and exhale and then come back again to all four position okay so hands at the back of the head we're going to inhale rotate that trunk and then exhale Rotate to the other side. Inhale. And exhale. In breath. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Come back. Place your hand down. Over the other hand. The back of the head. We rotate. And exhale. And rotate. And exhale. And rotate. And exhale. And one more. And exhale. Center. Bless it down. And let's go round that back for me, guys. Now, I want to keep the active abdominal. And again, open your knees wider if you need to, okay? Now, I want you to keep right in the back and press away. Sit the heel, bump to your heels. And then come back. Stay round back. And then sit back. And then come back. Two more. Sit back. Inhale, come back. Last one. Sit back. Inhale, come back. Flat back. Knees underneath the hip. Tuck your toes under for me, guys. Right. Now, really, really need to draw that belly in. That hug that baby in, guys. Now, I want you to press your hands down. Press those feet down firmly onto the ground. And then, as you breathe out, hug that baby up into your spine. Push the floor away with the hand and the feet. And we're going to hover that knees up. We stay here. On five, four, three, two, one, release. Good job. Let's do one more time. And exhale. Hug the baby into your spine. Push that floor away. Keep that back active. And lift and hover for five, four, three, two, one, and then release. Sit on the heels. Okay. Right, I want you to take your feet forward. That was a tough one. Okay, right. Release your left leg down. Take your right leg over. Okay, so you're going to look like this. Okay. 
Okay, can you see that? I'm just going to face to the front for now, okay? All right, now what we're going to do, so try to get that bottom down. If you cannot, that's okay. If this is uncomfortable, again, you can have the pillow underneath your bottom. All right, so opposite, so I'll get my right leg cross, left arm across, and then we're just going to push my arm against my thigh. And rotate the body to the back, you'll find that glute, your bottom stretching. And a nice little rotation stretch on the spine too. All right, let's stay here. In breath. Exhale. Find a deeper stretch if you can. One more. In breath. Exhale. And a release. Over to the other side. Okay. So I have my left, my right to the bottom, my left leg on top. Try to sit both sitting bone or both bottom on the floor. And then I have my right arm up, bring it across. Okay, press it against the thigh. All right, and then my the left hand at the back. All right, we inhale, try to stretch as much as you can. And then exhale, you find that glute sort of opening and stretching. Okay, in breath. And exhale. One more. Okay. All right. Now, I want you to sit sort of in this position. How big? Maybe just a mat width apart, like so. Okay. Now, just place your hands however you like, right? Just, you know, maybe just a little, maybe fingertips to the, uh, to the side, and that's okay. We're just going to do some rotation. So, we inhale. We're just going to twist. And an exhale. And an inhale. And exhale. And in breath. And exhale. And an inhale. Twist. And an exhale. And an inhale. And exhale. And an in breath. Last set. Last one. Okay, good job. Right, now lying onto your side. All right, so this is where the pillow may come in handy, okay? So you can have your... Okay, let me just lie on my side first, okay? This is the position I like you to do. Right? Knees in front of your hips, heels and knees aligned, interlaced, the hands at the back of the head. Now, again, if this is uncomfortable, this is where this pillow come in handy. Okay, so you can place it underneath and the other one behind. And if your belly is a more progress size, bigger, you can have another pillow to support that side, just shove it in there, kind of like that, okay? So, well, I don't need it because I'm not pregnant, but if you do need it, you're welcome to use that pillow as a little support. And then if you need this pillow for your head, you're also welcome, but if you don't, you don't if you feel like you don't need it, let it go, okay? I'm just gonna put it on my head just to show those who needs it, okay? Now, what we're gonna do here just making sure that your spine stays in one straight line, that your waistline is lifted, okay? So you know, don't want the belly to sag here. That's why the pillow comes in handy if you are in a progressive, if you have a bigger belly. But lifting up that waist, okay? In breath, exhale, lift that waist and hug that baby into the spine. And now, I want to inhale to open that chest, rotate back as far as you can. It should feel really, really good, ladies. Exhale. And an in breath. And an exhale. And an in breath. And an exhale. One more in breath. And an exhale, release. Okay, you can continue using that pillow if you want to. Otherwise, you can let it go. I'm gonna let it go so I can show how I want those of you who doesn't who don't need pillows. So 
have this hand here, okay? And place your other hand here. Lift that waist up. And now from here, I want you to just lift the top leg up. Keep the pelvis stable and then down. You can also place your hands here. Lift and then down. And 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 lift, and down. Two more lift and then down. Last one, lift and then down. Now we lift it up, stay. Hold that position and extend. And four. You know what? Let's flex it. Extend. And, and an extend. And four. And extend. And four. Two more. Extend. Yep, it's burning. And last one, extend. And fall over the top leg, over the bottom, so you're not dropping down. And stay here. You can place your hand back. We're just going to do a little swing here. So we're going to swing it back and swing it forward. And I'm going to kick the pillow away and then go forward. And exhale and forward. Keep the height of that leg consistent. And then exhale and forward. And then out and then forward and then back. And forward, and back, and forward, and back, forward, and two more. Mm -hmm. You're burning, I know. And the last one, and then bring it back, and then release it. Good job. All right, help yourself up carefully. All right. Ooh. Yep, that burns. Take the other arm up, and over you go. A little lateral stretch. Stay here in breath. And exhale. And I want you to pull this in, the belly in, all right? And I want you to bring the arm down slightly in rotational. So feel like someone's pulling you forward and you're pulling you back, yourself back. You find that stretch on the back. And then come back in. Okay, over to the other side, ladies. Okay, so. I'm going to not use the pillow on this side, but please use the pillow. Pause the video if you need to set up. All right, so interlace the fingers behind your head if you're not using the pillow. All right, first thing first, again, drawing that abdominal in, right? The waistline up so you're not sagging down. That's very important. Okay, we're going to inhale, opening that chest. Feels really good. And exhale, or at least it should feel really good. And inhale. And exhale. And an in breath again. And let's do two more. And last one. Okay, moving on. Bottom arm is long. If, okay, if you're using pillow, you can place that pillow here, right there, like so. Okay, if you are, if you're not, that's okay. You don't have to. Okay, now we're gonna lift, I'm gonna do that clamp. So lift the leg up and then down. And again, lift and then down. And again, lift. You can place your hand here. Stabilize that pelvis. You don't rock yourself back here. Yeah? So keep the pelvis stable, just the leg moving. And again, up and then down. And again, out. Let's go two more. I don't know how many I've done, but all right, last one. And hold. Stretch your leg, kick and then fall. And again, kick and then fall. And kick, fall. And then kick, yep, that's glute here. It's working a lot. Kick. Second side is always hard in the first side because your first side, the bottom side is already kind of burned out. And kick, one more time. And then kick, and then fall. Lower, just hovering. We're gonna do a little swing here. So we're gonna go back and forward. And then swing it back and forward. And again, pack the baby in. And forward, and then back, and forward. Just swing it away with control, though. 
and again and again let's do two more and last one come back release the job then you just a little you know i would call that a little bump massage here okay so coming up help yourself up carefully not as fast as you just did so coming to mermaid position take the arm up to the ceiling and now where you go for lateral stretch one set of breath inhale lengthen out exhale and reach the arm across pulling that baby in reach yourself out in breath exhale one more all right okay ladies so coming into this position for me please sorry this position last one okay i want you to have your knees hip width apart feet parallel fingertips facing forward towards your bottom or you can go onto the side if this is uncomfortable with your wrist with your wrist so press your hands down lift the back up breathe out press the feet coming up into like a table this is a modified back support then an inhale hinge down keep that chest proud and again exhale lift the pelvis neck is long and an inhale hinge down and let's do three more exhale and an in breath two more exhale that's it and an in breath last one and an in breath well done all right coming on to your knee sitting like so if you feel comfortable if not just cross your leg all right from here ladies we're just going to inhale extend the upper chest up so let's just move my mic inhale extend high release and an exhale and just round and then two more high release and exhale rounding that back and the last one and exhale and come to the middle all for the pregnancy workout for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.